it is impossible to get a full nine in the speaking if you are a non-native speaker. If anybody's told you that, well, they are completely being untrue with you. Today, I'm going to share the strategies that I use to get a full nine in my speaking. So let's get started. Before we get started, if you're new to this channel, welcome to Genesis Learning. If this is the first time we're meeting, well, my name is Noel and I'm an expert trainer here at Genesis Learning. In this channel, we do a lot of practical strategy videos that have been used and helped numerous students to crack through the IELTS, the PT and the OET exam. So if you are looking for any of these information, feel free to subscribe to our channel. In the IELTS speaking, your examiners evaluate you on four aspects. First one, fluency and coherence. Second one, lexical resource. Third one, grammatical range and accuracy. And the fourth one, pronunciation. Let's get started with the strategies that you need to get that full nine. The first strategy is speak fluently. Make sure that you are speaking smoothly and at a moderate pace. This helps you to control your language and think before you speak. Please do not by heart any answers because that will be counted as memorized and you can even lose your score. The second one is make a good story. Nobody likes a boring story. Not you, not me. So how do you keep your audience engaged? Tell them a nice story. Try to add a few untrue details here and there to make it interesting. This will be more useful for your section two, that is your cue card. The third one is deviate from the main story. For most of us, it can be quite difficult to speak for two minutes at a stretch. So what do you do at that time? You go off topic for some time and then you come back to your main topic. In that way, you can add more details and also show off with your language. The fourth strategy is use some sophisticated words. Now there are no set words that are used to get a fantastic vocabulary or a fantastic score, but when you use certain uncommon words that are matching to your speech, it shows that your vocabulary is precise and flexible. Try to learn some of these different words and make sure that you use them in your speech. If you have any non-English words in your speech, like say for example, a street name or a dish that is in your native language, then explain it to the examiner. This shows that you are considerate about the other person's language. The fifth strategy is use different sentence types. As you know, there are different sentence types like your simple sentence, your compound sentence and your complex sentence. Try to include a mix of all of them in your speech. The sixth strategy is be formal and polite. Treat your entire speaking as an interview. Make sure that you are being formal in your language and also polite. This will help you to get that good score that you are looking for. Avoid using slang language and also words like yo, what's up? All those kind of words should be completely avoided. The seventh strategy is pronounce correctly. If you are confused about the pronunciations of any words, try to research it on the internet. If, for example, if you are there in the exam and you're not very sure, just avoid using that word. But whatever you use, the pronunciation should be apt and should be correct. If you need some good speaking practice or you need the right method as to how to do your speaking, then get in touch with us. We are there to help you. Just log on to our website www.mygenesislearning.com and we can help you out with whatever doubt you have. If you've got some value out of this video, please make sure to hit that like button, share it with all your friends and help us to spread the word. If you have any feedback, please drop it in the comment section right below. And now I've shared with you the strategies that I used and I'm confident even you can get that full nine in your IELTS speaking. Till we meet again, stay home, stay safe. This is your tutor, Noel, signing out. Ciao.